Good afternoon. I don't know what time of the day you're watching this, but it's afternoon for me here in the Caribbean. And my name is Catriona. You can call me Cat. That's why my name is Catriona, AKA Cat. And guess what? If you're here, I want to welcome you to the kitty litter. Today we're going to be doing some finger weaving. We're going to need some yarn and I have some yarn right now. This piece of yarn is about maybe a foot and a half long, okay? So I have four pink pieces of yarn that are at least one and a half feet long. So each one of those four pink pieces of yarn are about one and a half feet long. I have an orange string. You don't need to have the same colors as I do, but I have an orange string that is at least two to three feet long right now. Okay, so this orange string is two to three feet long. And then I have a blue string that is also two to three feet long. I am only making them different colors so it's easier for you to understand what is going on. Well, I am going to tie my blue string to this tripod here and I'm just using the tripod because it's just easier. It's smaller. I'm just going to tie it. It's a regular knot. Just tie it in a regular knot and I'm going to stretch it to the other side and I wrapped it around the chair leg a couple of times then I'm just going to tie it over to this side. Ta-da! Okay, so now I have a string that is going to act as my mounting base. So all the other strings are going to be attached to this string. Okay. Now I'm going to take one of the pink strings and I'm going to put the ends together so that they touch. And then I'm going to take the other end, which is now a loop. If you can see, it is now a loop on that side. I'm going to place the loop over this cord that I just mounted here and I'm going to just take the ends of this ring, the ends in here in my hand, and I'm going to push them through the loop and pull. So I just mounted my first pink string. Now I'm going to take the other pink string and do the same thing. I put the two ends together. I open up the other side, so I got the two ends together, they're matching, open up the other loop, put the loop over the other string, put the ends through the loop, and pull. That's the other one. I'm going to mount all four of them the same way. Put the ends together, open up the loop, put it over the cord, pull the ends through the loop, and then, ta-da, next one. You put the ends together, yes, got the ends together, and then you put the loop, you have the other side with the loop, put the loop over the cord, put the ends through the loop, and pull. Nice. Time for the orange string. Orange string, do the same thing, you match, the, you match both ends up together, both ends are matching. And then you open up the loop and then I put these pink strings on the right side. I'm going to put this orange string on the left side. Doesn't really matter which side but I'm just putting it there just because it's more convenient for me. I want you to take note that there are four pink strings. Now you can have as many pink strings or you know and you can have as many of these kind of strings as you want, but you're only going to have one lead cord. Okay, so this is the lead cord, the orange cord here. This is the one that's going to weave in and out of the other ones. So I have four of these piles, and each pile has two strings, right? Each pile has one, two strings. Each pile has one, two strings. So each one of these strings on here has two strings hanging from it because we bent them in half. So you're gonna take the second string from each one of these four piles of string. Okay, so the second string 
from each one. So not the first one, but the second string from each one of these four piles of strings. And we're gonna separate them into two groups. Let's call them families. And I don't know if you've ever watched Romeo and Juliet, <laughs> but you know that the Capulets and the Montagues never got along very well and they had to separate themselves from each other. So let's consider that the top group is the Capulets and the bottom group are the Montagues, okay? So the top group, I'm going to keep them in between my thumb and index finger. So I'm holding the top four strings between my thumb and my index fingers. See, so I have them between my thumb and index finger holding them in the correct order. I don't have them twisted or, or out of order. All right, so they're going between my thumb and index finger. Now the orange string is gonna come between the two families to divide and separate them so that they cannot cross each other. Okay, so this is like the law coming between these two families and saying, you know what? We understand that you got beef, but you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna disrespect the law. Okay, so we come in between the two of y'all. All right, so the orange string comes between the two families. All right, then you take the other family and you place it between your index and middle finger. So the bottom four strings are going between your index and middle finger. Right? So we put them between the index and middle finger, but we're still trying to keep them apart. We don't want them to mix. We don't want them to cross. The families are still separated and still beefing. Okay? Right, and there's still space between them and the law is still between them. As you can see, the orange string is dividing the two families. So now here comes the tricky, tricky, tricky part. There's still space between the two families and we're still keeping them separated. And the top family is between my thumb and index finger and the bottom family is still between my index and middle finger. So now what I'm going to do, notice, I am going to show you what to do. You're gonna pick up one of the bottom and hold it in your right hand. You're holding it in your right hand and you're, you're gonna drop the, the top string. So you pick up, you're picking them up in order. So you pick up the next bottom string, then drop the next top string. Yeah, so it's just pick up the bottom, then drop the top string. Pick up the bottom, drop the top. And you have to do it in order or else it's going to be all jumbledy and messed up and look whack. Yes, so then you just adjust it. You pull the strings and you fix, you adjust the orange string so that everything is looking nice and neat and tight. You don't want any spaces, any gaps. So you just keep adjusting the orange string and adjusting the pink strings. You might even want to slide your finger up in there and kind of push it up a little bit to give it a little bit of tightness and you place them right back in the spot that they were before. The top group goes in between the thumb and index and the bottom group goes between the index and middle finger. Then what you do is you take the orange string and you just slide it back between those two families again. So it's coming between the two families to divide them and separate them just like before. See? Easy. So I still have the two families in between my fingers. I have the two families. The top family goes between the thumb and the index and the bottom family goes between the index and the middle fingers. So I have them sandwiched between there. I just put the string, the orange string, back between the families. So it came back through there between the families and I pushed it up and I pulled it tight 
And the same thing, you're going to go from the right side again. You're picking up the bottom string, dropping the top string, pick up the next bottom string, whichever one is the next one, they have to be in perfect order. And then drop the top string, pick up the next bottom string in your right hand, drop the top string, pick up the bottom string, drop the top string. You slide the, the strings up, make sure the orange string is tight, give it a little pull, yes. So now we have the next row. So now you put the, you pull the orange string between the two families again. So the orange string comes back and forth and back and forth like a snake, sliding back and forth. So it goes back and forth like an S, snaky shape. Okay, so you, again from the right side, you pick up the bottom string, drop the top string, pick up the next bottom string, drop the next top string, pick up the next bottom string, drop the next top string, pick up the next bottom string, you hold them all in your right hand, and then you switch them into the, between the thumb and index, and then put the, ne the bottom family now in between of your index and middle finger, see? So it's just, it's just repetition. It's just repetition, you just keep doing that over and over and keep pushing up and adjusting the strings. All right. Then take the orange string and put them between the families again to separate them. They say, okay, I'm gonna start dating a Capulet, I don't care because I'm on Montague. Pick up, drop the top string, pick up the bottom string, drop the top string, pick up the next bottom string. They're kind of like overlapping each other a little bit. Now you adjust the orange string, adjust the pink strings, push them up. Yes, and you know you want to put the orange string between of the two families again to stop them from crossing over and having mixed babies. Yeah, because we racist and we're like segregating. <laughs> ah, bad joke. what it's looking like up close so this is what it's looking like so the orange string is just weaving back and forth between them and as you keep interchanging the top strings with the bottom strings it just keeps locking the orange string in place and then you end up with you know you can make a bracelet you can make belts now if you were making a belt you would mount the strings onto the buckle part of the in the back of the buckle part of the belt and you would have way longer strings. But this is enough to make a bracelet, I would suppose. Okay, now somebody is definitely gonna ask me, but how are you supposed to end this thing? Well, what you do is you just take the orange string and you just wrap it around all of the pink strings. I know somebody's gonna ask me that. And all you have to do is just make a little loop. So I made a little loop with my finger and I'm just gonna pull it, okay. So I make a little loop with my finger here, just get some string and I'm going to pull the ends through that loop and just pull tight. You can do that a couple of times so that it won't come out. Yeah, that's basically how you end it. If you want to make it into like a keychain or like a bracelet or something like that, you can. Oops. Did you die camera? Don't die! So yeah, that's how that looks. Uh, you can make it into a keychain. You can make bracelets, belts. What else can you make? I suppose you can make a scarf out of this. And I'm trying to think. I'm sure you can make quite a few pieces of jewelry out of this. This could make a nice little piece of jewelry. A choker? Yeah, because chokers are in style right now. You can make like a choker out of this. Mm, that's a good idea actually. But maybe it's not such bright colors though. <laughs> Please don't use this bright ass color in your on your neck. Please, I swear, I swear don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. <laughs> anyway, I hope that was informative. Welcome to the kitty litter and 
See you next time.